Hi and welcome to another tutorial from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at the Minecraft type, Minecraft typography tutorial. So let's get straight into it. I'm just going to go ahead and type my mine type. That's M I N T Y P. And we're just using the text tool here, going to the font options at the top. And I'm using a font called Minecraft Free. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description and we have it right here Good. so the first thing I think I did to this is that right we want to give it a grey colour and see if this is the right grey yep yeah, looks like the right grey and let's go ahead and just convert this to a path so we're going to go object path and then we're going to hit control and U to ungroup them as you use object to path for text objects um, the first thing is that it will create each one to a path but it will group each one of the letters so you want to ungroup it first right? and then I'm just going to go ahead and delete these nodes right here just delete them so just box select and delete these nodes so in the node tool you can press F2 to, to go there and let's just go ahead and Oh, just for my canvas here, I'm using a 1920 by 180 canvas, and this is just a nice boxy pattern that I found um, that I thought was really nice. Alright, so let me just put this underneath because I don't want to accidentally select it. We can bring it back after. I'm just going to use the straightening tool to make segment lines and just carry this across here. Because I prefer the Y looking like this and less hassle. Okay, awesome. Good. So now we can move into the next part. I'm going to just box select all of these, go to path, and then go to union. So you want them unified. Next, we're going to go to some path editing. We're going to do some path editing and go to path effects. By now, you'll see this green plus button. If this isn't a path, you won't see it. And we're going to scroll down until we find perspective envelope add. And per perspective envelope um, en envelops the text in a in four with four vertices that allow you to modify the skewing of each side of this rectangle. So the first thing you want to do is mirror movements on the vertical. And if we double click we we'll see here in the top right we have a very white node here and you'll see that for the each one of the vertices and these is what allow you to modify the shape of the text so we're just going to go ahead and bring this in a bit about here good and because we mirrored the movements in the vertical whatever we do on this side will also be reflected on this side so we get an equal skew here Good. So now we just want to set this in stone. So we're going to hit Control, Shift, and C, which is the same thing as going to Path, Object to Path. All right. So we've got this in stone, and the Path edited effect disappears. Good. Next, we want to just go ahead to um, our extensions. We're going to go to Generate from Path. We're going to go to Pattern um, Motion. Sorry. We want to keep the angle 90, and let's look at 30 magnitude. I always get different values for the magnitude. Okay, this time 30 is very small, so we want to sort of increase that. So let's just go ahead and repeat it. Go to generate from path motion. I'm going to use, let's use um, 60 and apply. Hopefully that will do it. Yeah, 60 looks good. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Just zoom up. In fact, it could even be a bit more. Let me just put this in black so I can see it. Okay. Um, let's just bring it back down again. No, it's just selecting everything. Ungroup it and set this dark one here. Okay. This isn't too bad, though we could have wanted a bit more out of it, but it's okay. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is ungroup these. We're controlling you. Then we're going to go to path and union. 
bring back down this mind type here and we're going to duplicate this with shift and D and then oh, shift and D sorry we're going to duplicate it with control and D go to control and D and we're going to select the the motioned path here and we're just going to go to path and difference and that's just going to make it so that only these parts of the text are there present looks like it was a little bit off let me see if i can redo that so that there's no black at the top select it again and go to path and difference okay that's a lot better good so now that we've done this we're going to go ahead and add a skew to this part of the text too so we're going to go to our path effects that we had open you can go to path and then go to path effects down here and then we're going to click this plus button go back to perspective and envelope and we're going to set to move to mirror movements in the vertical and once you mirror the movements it's going to double click it so that we expose the node structure that we want and we want these ones at the bottom so let's go ahead and just move it a bit until you're comfortable i think this is about right Good. so this is where it gets a little bit messy but you know it's just the name of the game sometimes you have to do messy things in Inkscape. it's not always clean so it's going to go ahead, go ahead and hold control and shift and scale this up until we're reasonably comfortable but let's change this to a path first um, let's go to object to path and then scale this up Right, and just bring this up here and see relatively enough we get a good fit but we'll have to change some of the elements on top and that's okay yeah I think that's just fine okay so I'm just going to go ahead and fix some of these up so that they look a bit better here okay, I may just skip this in the video editing section or just fast forward it it depends how I feel when I'm actually editing this video so let's move on into the next part of this we're just going to go ahead and add some nice shading to these good because we want them to have a nice deep color good and we also want it to have a highlight so let's first make the highlight we're going to duplicate the top layer with shift with control and d i'm just going to lift it up a bit duplicate it one more time and bring the duplicate down back to the original level I select the one previously give it a different color like white lift it to the top good and let's give the bottom one a bright gray here and select the both of them go to path and difference and that will give us this nice outline here but for the next part we want some areas black just going to go ahead and make those areas black but for some of these areas internally we want them black good and um, you know this part of the tutorial is really about a stakes now because we've done you know the main parts of it don't think I'll fast forward this part but this part is relatively quick just gonna go ahead and use the bezier to and just trace out these areas and some of these areas are going to make black so we're just going to go to path and then break apart and that will help us with some of these areas that we're making black 
put so I have to spend too much time separating them. Good. Let's make this black and just separate this part here. these And then for the last part now, we're just going to go ahead and make some of this sort of, make the highlight here a little grungy, like we're actually dealing with, actually dealing here with some, some rocks. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and select the highlight, go to filters, distort, and then go to roughen and I've got a horizontal frequency of 1, vertical 1.5, intensity down to 1.3 good and um, I think that should help make these a little rougher let's go ahead and just give it, try it again go to filters, um, distort, roughen let's increase the horizontal vertical frequency a bit Cool. Let's increase the intensity a little bit too. And apply. Right, and that's about good. So we have 4.1, 10, and 13. Yeah, and I think this is even better than the preview that I was doing. I prefer this highlight right here. Okay, so we've got a nice highlight. Good, so the last part of this is really just adding the cracks that we see in the text up here and the outline so you know, I'm not going to add all the cracks here I'm just going to do a couple so that you can see what we're talking about good so those are the cracks you can just use the bezier tool and create and create them you know and then you decide how the cracks go and for the last Part of it, we need this outline. But in fact, we can just sort of highlight everything, duplicate, and just go to path and union. Good. And with that, now we can create our highlight. Just going to make it black. Create our outline. Sorry. And we're going to go to path and dynamic offset. And just lift this up a bit, put it underneath, and we have our our black outline here. And because we're dealing with Minecraft, I like to go to the fill and stroke area, go to stroke style. Um, with the stroke selected and cap it with this straight line here. I think that really helps. Um, to to make it a bit more blocky. Good. And I think this 
concludes the mind type minecraft inscape tutorial if you enjoyed the tutorial give it a thumbs up if you have any questions be sure to ask i'll be happy to answer them once i am able remember you have to add the cracks yourself that's just busier work no um trick behind that though there are other methods to speed it up but i would just just suggest going through the busier route again you know have any questions or you have any suggestions that are you feel that are worth placing in the comment section please do that that helps me that helps everybody in the community and we very much appreciate that so until i see you again with another tutorial get up and design a new dawn later